CGC back with more Photoshop CS5 extended tutorial and this is part 2 of our military badge um, tutorial thingy blah blah whatever I don't remember what it's called and we left off last time with completing this the outer wings on the badge and what I did uh, when I was off screen, I just made the canvas a little bigger. It was a little small, I thought, and I made the the badge itself a little whoops wider because I thought it was a little thin for the lights and everything. <coughs> so what we're going to continue with now is we're going to take the wing and drag it over to our other document and just drop it. I'm going to put it. Up of everything for now. Command T and then move it. Okay. I like it right there. I'm gonna size it down holding and I'm only gonna hold shift this time because that keeps it in the spot. Okay, let's see. I actually like that. Let's see that. It's cool. So let's move it under the badge. Yeah. Now I'm gonna command. Still having this command J. I have a copy of it now. Wait, I'm just gonna recall this wing. R B for right bottom, and this is gonna be wing. Come on. Wing R T for top. Command T and then I'm just gonna move it up. So say there. A little thick. So I'm gonna size it. Um let's see. The, I want it a little thinner the top one, but it has to be longer. Let's see. You might have to move it so that it aligns and with the arrow keys and everything. So this is a little more complicated. Okay. Do I want that a little thinner? Whoosh. There, but higher. Come on. Go a little higher. There. And then that. And let's see. That looks okay. So now after I've done this, I'm gonna so I'm gonna keep go back to the right bottom, command J and rename it to L B. Command T, and then while holding this, hold Shift, and then just drag it. Right, right click it first, flip horizontally, and then so could hold Shift and drag it. It should lock in the same position. You can see it as in the small part that goes over the line on both sides. Then RT again, the right top one, Command J, rename it to LT, Command T, while holding it, no, right click it first, flip it horizontally, now while holding it, hold Shift to move it, let's see, yep, that looks sweet, okay, now from, yeah, we'll make the triangle first. It's the triangle that's sticking out at the top right there. We'll make that first. So would you go back? Thank you. Um, you need to be on arrows. So if you don't have it, you go on arrows right here, and then select this one. Just gonna randomly drag. Doesn't matter that it's red right now. 
close it up command T and while having that rotate hold shift and move it up exactly now this just put it wherever you like I think that's cool I'm just gonna size it up while holding shift nope while holding out it's gonna make both sides go bigger same time and that looks cool just gonna right click this delay wait no first rename it to uh, arrow and then I'm gonna right click it and rasterize it so here we go we got the whole top thing going what we're gonna do now just go to any of them it doesn't matter and what we're gonna do we're gonna go to bevel and emboss depth maximum I can see what's going on right here size should be at 7 uh, and the opacity at 50 at multiply at 50 down there and yeah think and then we go to the color overlay and we're gonna change the color to 5 E five E five E. Yep. And that's it. And then we're just gonna close this up. Right click the layer and go copy layer style. And then just highlight all of these. Whoops. Or highlight all of these and right click and paste layer style. And there we go. All of them are now whatever this is cool so we got that done uh, now we're gonna do the light lines I guess so with the light uh, I sadly don't remember how to do this this was a check it check it thingy he kinda like gave a tutorial on doing light I kind of messed around and changed it a tiny bit but I don't remember exactly the settings so I'm gonna go to where's my light there's light it's just gonna oops I'm just gonna copy the layer style I'll paste it that later but for now let's make the shapes first so go back to your shape tool rounded rectangular tool and just give it the size that you like uh, I guess that's fine uh, it's not below the badge, it's above the badge. What's that shape? Oh, that's the circle. Good. So that is right there, it can be above everything. Command T and holding shift, I'm gonna row hate it. Let's see. Place it wherever you like. Uh, that's good length. And that actually looks pretty aligned already. If it doesn't then you can just do like a small finishing touch like there. And that looks good. Um, now we're gonna go, wait I'm just gonna call it light L command J rename it light R command T right click it and flip it horizontally while holding that shift while dragging and you need to hold shift so it stays on the same line so there we go we got those two going now what we need is that kind of like arrow going down so go back to your custom shape tool and you're still an arrow so same arrow as before and then just drag random and that is actually supposed to be in top so call it arrow light oops light there we go command T and while having the rotate hold shift so it locks into the correct positions then align it in the middle and then just give it the size that you like if you want like these sides to go at the same time 
just hold shift and yeah that looks pretty neat that looks good so now I'm just gonna paste the layer style over all of them I'm gonna go through the tutorial with you so I'm gonna go through everything with you guys so first we need an inner shadow you set it to linear burn black opacity 50 and go 120 is fine use global light yes <coughs> at distance 0 choke 0 size 4 contour and everything is fine then you go to the outer glow you use linear dodge add opacity 50 noise 0 the color is zero zero six three ff and as a gradient overlay actually you go on this gradient overlay and you type zero zero six three ff and the other one is zero zero six three ff but <coughs> that doesn't matter spread it to size at forty and you go to wait is there anything else nope range 50 maybe if you haven't don't got that in jitter 0 then the inner glow is screen opacity is 75 and noise at 0 white is fine uh, softer edged choke 0 size 10 then you go to satin you go to blend mode multiply the color that you're gonna use is 9 1 BCFF, okay, opacity 50, angle 19, distance 13, size 13, and anti allies and invert with the contour selected. The contour, it's this one. And lastly, color overlay, everything normal, just the color 1C5E, C, 1C5E, C5. That's what you're gonna use. Of course, you can change these colors all randomly around, so that's all up to you. What we're gonna do now? I'm just gonna group these. I'm just gonna call this light, and that's the badge itself. Everything. So I'm just gonna command G again and go badge. And then above all of this, I'm going to make a new layer to make this cool, like, stick-on badge thingy. <coughs> so, we're going back to our rounded rectangular tool. Just drag it, whatever, doesn't matter. And I'm just noticing, I think everything's a little big. Let's see, it's just move it up a tiny bit. So, hopefully you won't have these troubles with your canvas size. I might just change that, but I think it'll work out fine, so I'm just going to call that box. And command T, put it in the center, a little smaller right there. Yeah, just size it down right there. Let's have a look. I don't like that how it cuts off at the top. Ooh, that's getting small. Well, I guess I'll have to change the canvas size. So if if you get these troubles and you need to change canvas size, you go to image, canvas size. I'm just going to change the height to 50. Yeah. What? Okay, whatever that is. I don't really care, so I'm just going to make it a little bigger right there. Oops holding L to both sides and then double click on the box and now what you're gonna do is okay color overlay obviously and what the number that you need is so to get the same effect I do 355 C98 Bam. and then you need a satin think all the settings are fine 
it looks like it, bevel emboss, coarse again, depth to maximum, soften to maximum, and down here the multiply to 50. Yep, that's it. I'm just going to make it a tiny bit bigger. Yeah. Now make another new layer and go to your text tool. And I used a text style called Concealing and Jet. I'm going to put it in the link if you like it or if you want it. I'm just going to go C, G, C. And I'm noticing that's a little small. 18, oh my god, let's just put it at 100, it doesn't matter. C, G, C. Cool. Command T. Just going to center it. There. Drag it out, holding out. There. So that's now in the center. Now this one we go double click. Uh, bevel emboss. Once again, maximum depth. This time direction down. And soften at maximum. And the color overlay is a pure white. Uh, maybe I missed something out on Bevel Emboss. Just let me check. Yeah, opacity probably again down to 50. Let's check. Yes, opacity down to 50. And there's got that look as if it was cut out and everything, so it's like cutting into the object. And you don't have to group these. So now, last of all, of course, background, double click it, layer zero, call it BG, command A, command A, yes, just uh, select the whole canvas and then shift and delete, and then just set it to, you can set it to black. And there we go. I'm, I just like to know what that is up there. What is that? <coughs> Oops. I guess that's under one of them. I don't know which one that came from. Could have been any. But if you do have that, I guess you'll have to check through everything. I don't think so. I don't know why that happened. On the other one, I never got something like that. But it could just be that <coughs> on one of them I accidentally used a tool or something. Let's see, no, it's not the arrow. But never mind that. <sighs> and if you have that trouble and you don't know how to fi fix it, just put a box over it and just make it black. So that was it for the badge tutorial. I'm just going to put these lines away to see the whole entire thing. And as you can see, the light effects going on, there's these things coming out and everything, and they're all there and the year and glare and all over the places and everything. And I guess that's it. New tutorial on military badges is coming up next. I have a new design, which I will show you guys the next time, of course. Just a heads up, it's called the Alpha Force design, which is, I think, really epic. It looks like an arrow, and you're just going to love it. Hope you subscribe to see more tutorials, and see you next time, guys. Hope you liked it. That was it for part two. CGC's out and ever.